Hello, welcome all. Welcome to another important video. I hope you all are doing great. So in our previous video, we discussed about basics of code signing and we also saw example of company X where we discussed about what all possible losses that company have to face if they don't follow code signing standards. And we also discussed benefits of code signing. So now we are pretty much clear. Why do we want to code sign our application? So now it's time to understand how we can implement code signing for our application so now in this video we will discuss how to implement code signing for our mac application so without any further ado let's start with it so this is the documentation from mac and here they are providing all the details that we need to know before we start code signing so we have already discussed most of it in our previous video so i'll provide this link in the description if you want to read more about code signing you can read it from here so let's jump into about code signing section and here they have provided one diagram. So this diagram is representing how code signing looks like. So as you can see the first part is data then there is one hash and then there is a certificate. So we can say code signing gets divided into three parts mainly first is your data. So data is nothing but the build that we want to code sign it could be zip file it could be pkg file it could be exe it could be just dll all right so it could be anything now the next important thing and i would say the most important thing in the code signing is the hash so whenever we will create a build we will also calculate its hash so now hash is nothing but a unique id that gets generated from that build and if anyone make changes inside the build the hash will also get changed all right so the logic says if any hacker change anything inside official production build so in that case hash of the application will get changed in, and in that case company can easily identify difference between official production build and modified build that's why hash is the most important part in the code signing if any hacking attack happened on application x and if it is code signed then company are good company will be able to identify or whether the actual issue is from them or is it a modified build all right so with this way company can save themselves from from that legal action uh, after calculating hash we'll have to use private key and this private key will get from mac whenever we will create our developer account in a mac so they will provide this key to code sign our product so whenever we will use our hash and encryption key then we will get digital signature and that we can append to our product so with this way entire code signing process will get complete and and now the application is safe so this is all about theory of code signing now let's try to implement things so in order to code sign our product first thing that we need to do is we need to create our certificate so I'll provide a link in the description. You can follow that link and you can create your own certificate. I have that certificate already. So I'm not going to create any new because this because in a Mac, this certificate is paid certificate. So that's the reason I'm not going to create any new certificate. I'm going to use same certificate which I was using earlier. But this is how the certificate looks like. It is P12 file and that we need to import inside our keychain. So let's quickly open our keychain. So for those who don't know what is inside the kitchen we can add our keys so that's what we are going to do here i'm going to simply op i'm going to simply click on file and then i'll click on import items so with this way we can import our keys so now all i need to do here is i need to i need to follow the path where my key is stored that's it i need to open it all right so since i've already added this key inside my kitchen i'm not going to add this once again so this is how it looks like after you after you import that key you will see these two keys first key is your developer id application and second one you will get is developer id installer okay so now after that we all we need to do is we need to use this command to code sign our product but before that make sure that xcode setup is done in your machine if you're using mac because otherwise this product sign command will not work okay again installation of xcode is really simple you just have to open app store and you have to search xcode there and you can simply install it so let's try to understand what this command is doing 
so first of all we are using product sign package inside the mac which will get installed as soon as we will install our xcode then we are passing some parameters like deep and sign these are mandatory parameters third parameter that we are passing is name of our key this key name will be the installer key which we have just installed inside our keychain after that we'll have to give path of our current application or current build and then we'll have to give path of our destination build all right so after running this command it will take some time and and once this command complete so you can check whether your application is code signed or not so now the question is how can we verify whether our application is code signed or not all right all right so now here I'm, I'm inside of mac applications and let's see some default application which which we can expect that it is already code signed so this this chess application is default mac application so let's right click on it and this will give us menu to show package content so let's click on it and inside of the content you will see one folder which is underscore code signature now this folder will exist only if your application is code signed okay so let's check same thing for the application that i have created so this is electron application and if i go inside of it you can see inside the contents so you, you will not be able to see underscore code signature folder this is because this application is demo application and i haven't code signed this application all right so this is how you can verify whether your application code signed successfully or not if you want to go more in deeper there are a few commands that gives us information about the code signature so you can try that as well but this is one of the basic thing that you can check to verify your code signature all right so i hope you have understood entire code sign process for mac application i will link all important documentation in the description i think that's it for this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye